Hey watch friends, in the never ending quest to find more places to stick your watches, today we're going to be looking at a company we looked at previously. This is the Mirage Luxury Travel, and we previously looked at actually this green watch roll here, but they sent in another one, this gray, as well as a new watch box that they have out. This has become my go-to brand for travel watch rolls, and we'll check out why as we go through further. As I mentioned, they did send these into the channel, I don't have to send them back, so I want to be upfront about that. First, let's go ahead and take a quick look at this one that we looked at previously. They really made their name with these travel watch rolls. This here is one of their PU leather versions, and they actually have these available as we'll look at the two. We actually see, we'll see a one here. This is the three, and then they now actually expanded this out and have a six watch variant as well. This is the PU leather, as I mentioned. It's available in several colorways. You have the green combo that we're gonna look at today. There's a gray uh, that we'll look at as well. We have a black kind of special edition one. There's a traditional black. There's also blue and brown variants that are out, and I think they might do some special edition runs also. These are all going to have the same basic instruction, and they do have a real leather line as well. You have your snap enclosures here, so you can see on this three watch version, it has four snap enclosures to keep that securely planted. This particular one has a green, and it's kind of like a suede uh, lining, very soft, very nice velvety feel to that. And then inside, you're going to see these hard dividers. And one of the things that sets them apart from some of the other options is they don't go for snap enclosures. They actually have slots. And one of my previous viewers was kind enough to share the feedback based on like the button style. And one of the things they said they really enjoy about this style over that is for one, the fact that you can slide these easily in and out without having the snap enclosures and you can go for any of the watches. But additionally, these are going to be significantly less likely to pull free, whereas that can be a problem with some of the button style. But as you can see here, you have the basic three slots and then these have kind of fins on the side here. So that holds it secure so it doesn't flop around or anything like that. The size I think is pretty versatile. This is size to my six and a half inch wrist. And you can see certainly it does compress the cushion. Nice cushioning material overall for, uh, for that. But it fits just fine for my size wrist. And it can go quite large um, as well. As you can see, there's still a lot of, uh, of give there. But this just gives you an idea as far as the basic instruction that we've looked at previously. When you have these closed, it does have the protection there. So certainly if something like a two by four is pushing across, it can compress that. But otherwise, anything like putting this in a suitcase or what have you, it provides plenty of compression protection there. So overall, I think these are really, really nice design. As you can see, I've used this a lot and it has held up flawlessly. So I certainly would not be worried about the longevity of this PU leather or anything like that. So since we've already looked at that previously and I do have a full review, you can uh, go back and check that out if you wanna see more of the specifics. But today I kind of wanted to look at, here's some color comparisons. You can see the green versus the gray, just to give you an idea of the color realism. Additionally though, wanted to look at, this is one of the smaller size uh, options here. So this is the two watch roll. It's going to be the exact same construction. You can see it drops down to three buttons um, here instead of the four. But otherwise though, it's going to be virtually identical, but you can see they do different color combinations for each. So this is the gray with a black lined interior. Really nice, you know, same, same exact thing that we're looking at for this and really like these quite a lot. I do think the six watch roll is really slick, but that being said, it is going to be double the size of, of this. So it's going to be clear out here. That is quite large and I suspect larger than most of you would need for your travel needs. But that being said, I personally would go, even though it's a little more money, would go with like two of the threes or multiple of the smaller versions. I just think it's a little more versatile than the six watch roll. But it's cool that they do have the option, and I like that they're expanding the lineup. As far as price points for these, they are going to vary, of course, um, in the, the prices depending on sales and otherwise, and these frequently are on sale. But the prices are going to be for like the single we'll look at here momentarily. I believe its retail is around 50, then it jumps up to like 60, 70, and then the six watch roll I think goes up to like $100 a retail. But like I said, they are frequently on sale. I will have a link down in the video description if you want to check any of these out but this gives you an idea of the watch rolls. But the main thing I wanted to look at today is focusing on an all new product they're offering here, and this is their actual watch box. So I had mentioned previously that I think these are great for home storage as well. However, they now have a dedicated home version, but as you can see with a twist. So let's check this out. So on the front here, you can see you have the Mirage Luxury branding for that. This is like a faux carbon fiber material. And you know, I think it's decent looking. 
Personally though, I've got to say, I prefer the look of the PU leather, so I would like to see them. I believe this is the only finish they're offering this in right now, and I think the retail on this is like $150, so it's certainly not a cheap one. The quality of the construction, I think, is there, but I'd love to see this offered in their PU leather. So opening that up, you can see we have a glass top for this. You've got a nice little grab there for that. The dimensions on this is going to be roughly 10 by 10 by 6, and that's approximate for here to here is going to be 10, and then the height is about 6 inches to give you an idea. But this does have a piano style hinge for that. It does hold itself open. It's nice there as far as the construction. Very durable hinge. Been really impressed with the construction of this. It is smooth opening, so very, very solid feel. No shimmy or wiggle to that to that whatsoever. Excellent there. Pardon the dog barking in the background. They have a nice touch here. You can see it carries over with the same kind of finishing of that satin, but it has the make every minute count. Uh, that's a nice little touch there. But if you don't like that, it is completely obscured unless you're really looking for it. But I think that's kind of a cool touch there. Going inside, you can see the layout is a little bit different than the typical. Instead of having your pillows where they ordinarily are sitting straight up like this, they are at kind of a diagonal. And you can see down in here, it has like a swoop cut to, uh, to that at the bottom. So that gives a different orientation. It's something I had to adjust to. I'm used to kind of centering the watches. I have found that I kind of stagger them a little bit towards the top for that to adjust for that or change in, in orientation. But I found it works just fine uh, for that. No issues whatsoever. The pillow construction, as you can see here, it's going to be kind of, again, like a PU leather. This one's a little of a different feel, kind of a vinyl there. You can see it's holding up just fine to, uh, to bracelets. I've had um, these on here for, uh, for a couple weeks or so for that and haven't had any issues thus far, but certainly time will tell if that uh, becomes a wear issue. Again, six and a half inch wrist, no, uh, no problems there as far as sizing. As far as some of the watches we're looking at, if you're curious about anything, I do have uh, video reviews of almost everything that's on here. These ones we recently featured, these are the Dorenzo uh, Eclipse version two. Additionally, I'll have this Selton um, is going to be coming up here very soon. Same thing with this MMI, be featuring that one as well. It's one of their new releases, so do stay tuned for that. And then of course the other ones are already uh, on, uh, on the channel here. But as far as the layout, as you can see here, you've got four across the top. You've got two more here on each of the two sides. You do have a smaller slot at the top. So this, as you can see, it's a much skinnier pillow and a much smaller slot. So if you have a large watch, it's probably not going to fit in the back. But one of the things here in the middle, this actually comes standard with one of their single watch rolls. So as you can see, again, going to be the similar construction. This matches the external um, of this, uh, this particular box where it has that, uh, that faux carbon fiber as opposed to their PU leather. And then inside here, again, same construction and this goes down to the two clasps. So that's kind of a neat touch. You know, I will say, personally, as much as I love their watch rolls, I do think this is a little bit gimmicky in that you could just as easily, I like the whole idea of part of the reason I have an exhibition top is so that I can see, or I should say glass top, is so that I can see inside. However, with this, obviously that closes it off perfectly fine for storage, but it does obscure what they were describe as keeping your kind of centerpiece, but I'd want to see my centerpiece without having to pop that open. So it's a good idea, but I'd rather have just additional slots for this, maybe bump it up to like a 10 or a 12 slot, adjust the size, size slightly of that, and just buy one of their watch rolls separately, because I do highly recommend the watch rolls. But that being said, I'm not necessarily hugely sold on the idea of having that integrated into the middle. Then down at the bottom, you do have a smaller drawer. And as you can see here, this is another one we're going to be featuring. This is one of the uh, Robux that's uh, coming up the Ranger. But on the left-hand side, you can see here, this has a bunch of slots where you can put your rings, your cufflinks, any of those kind of things. This is an area that honestly, I probably won't use too terribly much for that. But additionally on the side here, you can put your spring bars, extra straps, those kind of things. And then same thing, you can put extra storage down here as well. Though I personally usually use this style for storing my uh, watches that are on straps. You can just lay them across there and it works just fine. All right, so that's a kind of quick look at the new product offering from the um, from Mirage Luxury. As you can see, I think it's a nice watch box overall. The price point, I will say, it does start to get into the territory of bespoke watches. We looked at a DeFerich uh, watch box in the past. Personally, I am more of a fan of the reclaimed or the stressed look of the DeFerich. Additionally, the customization and things that you have there. Love Mirage Luxury, very happy with the products, really like their watch rolls as a whole. And I've been impressed with this watch box and I'm glad to have it as an option here because we all need more storage. But that being said, it does put itself at a price point where I think it's 
getting into pretty competitive territory, and it's possibly going to be a little bit hefty of a tag for many people out there. But if you are looking for a nice option that's readily available, this I do think is a good option for you. If you don't already have any other watch rolls, it comes with one standard um, as well. So that's a nice way to be able to get ready for, uh, for your travel needs while having at-home storage. So there you have it. I hope this video has been helpful for you in kind of checking this one out. If you did like this, as always, do smash that like button. And if you haven't done so already, give that subscribe button a tap. Thanks for watching.